to this. Competition involving lemonade stands so cutthroat that the police were actually called in. Transportation officials say it's not as easy as replacing a light bulb. No, they're going to have to actually go in and go underneath all this dirt and rip this old system out. A lot of folks are now asking, what's the standard? Should you wear them to work? Well, obviously the answer from Lenise Lagan <laughs> is yes, you should wear We're them to work. Another deadly milestone coming out of the conflict in Iraq this morning. More than 3,500 U.S. troops have now been killed. Now, see, most doctors compare it to termites. Once the cancer starts working its way through the body, it literally starts to eat away at the bone, much like these termites are doing to this piece of wood. And it was a $27 million project. If things go the way they did on opening day, I know you were there, David. Yeah. The Billy Graham Library looks to be a success. Gaston County commissioners say they won't be doing business with Bank of America. The reason? Illegal immigration. And here's a new one on me. Some people have actually tried taking a dab of toothpaste and putting it on their zit to kind of dry it out overnight. We're in Valentine, Lenise Lagan, WBTV News 3. Now, didn't some guy pay your sister to take her place in line or something that basically paid for your iPhone? Well, m <laughs> my husband and my sister played a joke on me. They said that oh, someone offered their money someone. to take their spot, and that, that's why they didn't have my phone. And they said, so here's $300, and I'm like, uh-uh, where's my phone? <laughs> Carolina Panthers player Dwayne Jarrett a bit shaken up following a crash on 77 Wednesday. State troopers say a woman changed lanes and hit the rookie receiver's BMW. That impact rolled the car over. Troopers say driver Maria Rosales also hit a third car. She's facing several charges, including not having a driver's license. Senior Bush administration sources say a consensus is building to shut down Guantanamo Bay. Officially, the White House says the decision is not imminent and key legal decisions need to be made first. If Guantanamo Bay is closed, detainees could be sent to one or more military prisons here in America. Living in Union County is getting more expensive. County commissioners decided to raise property taxes by 12 percent to pay for new schools. And that decision came yesterday. Two commissioners opposed the idea of raising the taxes, but a majority didn't mind it. This means homeowners will pay about $150 more for a $200,000 home. 529, now the time, and welcome back to WBTV News This Morning. Having a set of twins in your school isn't that unusual, or maybe even two sets, right? But one school is seeing double 12 times. <laughs> yeah, we're going to show you that. Plus, water restrictions underway in Gastonia starting this morning. Well, good morning to you, and thank you for staying with us. A lot of folks having an extended weekend because of the holiday. You got any plans to grill out later today? No, not really. No? But I suppose I need to make them because the weather situation today looks phenomenal. It's going to be perfect, yeah. right? You've got the parade going on in Center City later there isn't. today. Now, emergency workers are responding to an incident on I-85 South near the mile marker 63. Now, you just heard Chuck Rhodes talking about it here. Details are very limited at this hour. We do know that traffic is slowing in that area. This is in Cabarrus County. We do have a crew on the way to the scene, and as soon as we get any new details on the situation, we'll be sure to bring it to you. And this morning, President Bush is in Germany for the start of the annual G8 summit. Now, the biggest issues on the table for the three-day meeting are the climate change and aid to Africa, but all of that could be overshadowed by the U.S. relations with Russia. The two are at odds over the U.S.'s plans to build an anti-missile defense shield in Europe. Well, to the right of my shoulder, you're looking at the face of the fourth suspect in an alleged JFK terror plot. Del Noor surrendered to police in Trinidad. It's believed he and three others were plotting to blow up gas lines under the New York's JFK airport. Now, three other suspects have already been arrested. Thank you, Chris. It is 518, and researchers say drug-coated heart stents aren't dangerous. After all, the story tops are health alerts for you this morning. Nearly 6 million Americans have drug-coated heart stents. In this recent study, scientists followed heart patients with heart stents for four years, and they found no difference between patients with the drug-coated kind and those with the metal ones. Now, last year, researchers said the drug-coated stents were responsible for an increased number of fatal blood clots, but apparently that does not seem to be true according to this study. Well, doctors have a new warning out there for athletes regarding irregular heartbeats. They say playing sports produces adrenaline, right, and that can overstimulate the heart. This can cause the heart to stop. 
Doctors want athletes to be screened regularly for regular heartbeats on a normal basis so each athlete will understand the risk. They'll, they'll run away from you. Jennifer Mullis oh, is up yeah. bright and early every day tending to her babies. <laughs> She's been farming with her husband Dean in Stanley County now for more years than she can count. Raising free range chickens and pumping out organic fruits and veggies. We think there's, there's nothing like it. I mean, when you get a local homegrown tomato, or a really firm squash or a nice shiny eggplant uh, when you get eggs that were, you know, that you know are less than a week old and you can taste it. Consumers are eating it up too, wanting to buy fresh and local more and more every year. Well, it says at times it's hard to keep up. There's this growing demand for local and fresh and organic and we're glad to be out there and we can't meet the demand. Well, a major nationwide food recall is underway this morning. Not at all a bad problem to have. This eat local trend is being fueled by environmental and health concerns. And it's not just about health, but flavor too, which is why a growing number of chefs are not just opting for local produce, but organic too. I need probably about uh, six spaghetti squash. But I Tim Grudy is the executive like, uh, chef at three local restaurants. He let us tag along on a run for fresh ingredients at the Charlotte Farmers Market on York Mount. It's, it's all fresh picked. If you talk to the farmers, you know that they picked it within one or two days. Grudy says cooking organic costs more, but the benefits are worth it. It tastes better. It comes straight from the ground. It doesn't have anything to enhance its flavor. Mullah says that's what they strive for with everything that leaves this farm. Well, not everything. See, Tom has become part of the family, so he won't be on anyone's dinner plate. In Richfield, Lenny Slagon, WBTV News 3. Phone call. Hi, I was calling to see if you all were carrying the cervical cancer vaccine. After phone call. Okay, you don't carry it. After phone call. All in search of the elusive HPV vaccine. It's been hailed by many doctors as a breakthrough in cancer prevention because it keeps four strains of the human papilloma virus at bay. HPV is one of the leading causes of cervical cancer. But the expensive shots, while recommended by a panel of experts, are seemingly hard to find in our area and not yet covered by most insurers. We spoke with the pediatrician in Huntersville, and he says this isn't that yeah, unusual. You know, as happens with most vaccines when they first come out, there's uh, sometimes uh, not a, a great idea from the manufacturer of what the, what the uh, demand is going to be, so um, oftentimes it's not as available. But here's what we found in Charlotte. Out of the pediatric offices we surveyed, only two offer it. Half say they don't carry it and aren't sure if they ever will because of the $369 cost for the three-shot series. Now, older women wanting the vaccine have a bit more luck. Most places we called said they do have it. Only 30% didn't. But then again, most insurance companies aren't paying for this vaccine yet. Lenise Lagan, WBTV News 3, Prime Time. Carolina Panthers player Steve Smith is perhaps one of the best wide receivers in the league. But first and foremost, he's a father of three. Does how they view you affect the decisions you make? Yes, it does a lot. Uh, you know, obviously, I'm, I'm not perfect. You know, I'm not going to always make the right uh, choices as far as, uh, you know, extreme. You know, I, you know, we all fall and make little mistakes. Uh, obviously, this Saturday was a mistake. As a father, you have to deal with it. This 26-year-old exploded into the NFL back in 2001, fueled with tons of ambition. And just as fast as he hit the scene, so was his reputation developed as the guy with a hot temper. When I first got here, um, you know, I, I was wearing bunches. A uh, young guy, uh, eager, impatient do, to do everything, wanted to make, make his mark. And when you're impatient, when you're not making your mark, you get frustrated, uh, you get upset. Smith says it was all about making adjustments, something he didn't do that quickly. He admits his mistakes and credits former Panthers player, Mushin Muhammad, for taking him under his wing and putting him back on the gridiron in the right frame of mind. During our conversation, Smith told me the way you measure a man's character is by the success of his sons and daughters and how, of course, they serve their community. He says he strives to set a positive example, and yes, there was some explaining to do after that costly ejection from last week's game against Dallas, but he says don't be too quick to judge, adding that he's a work in progress. In Uptown, Lenny Slagon, WBTV News 3.